Hello, welcome to Dungeoneers Pack, a channel bringing you player focused discussions and character guides for 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons. My name is Josh, thank you for watching. The Swarmkeeper Ranger will allow players to draw upon a group of nature spirits to aid them on their adventure. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the Swarmkeeper Ranger's key feature, discuss ways you can use the theme of the subclass to develop your character, provide some ways you can reflavor this subclass, and give you some ideas on how you can play the Swarmkeeper Ranger in the official 5th edition settings. With that said, let's get started. Despite the name, the Swarmkeeper Ranger does not have any pet mechanics in its toolkit. Instead, its main feature gives the illusion of controlling a collection of nature spirits that provides benefits to the Ranger's combat prowess. Gathered Swarm is like many of the other third level features found in other Ranger subclasses. It provides a damage boost on a single successful attack on their turn. Unlike those other features, the player can choose to instead either to attempt to move an enemy or move themselves with the attack. This sets the Swarmkeeper apart from the other subclasses as the additional options open up some tactical gameplay instead of a straight up damage boost. When we reach level 11, the options in Gather Swarm get a power boost with the Mighty Swarm feature. We get an increase to our damage, in addition to our enemy being moved, we can knock them prone, and when we move, we gain half cover. How we decide to flavor our swarm opens up a variety of themes that we can utilize in our roleplay. This gives the subclass the room to be applied to any setting we play. Ultimately, how we flavor our swarm comes down to connection. The connection theme can be split further into two more ideas. First, let's talk about our character's connection to the world. What we flavor our swarm as will influence our character's connection with the world or even other planes. The swarm Swarm could act as the bridge that connects your ranger to primal or extraplanar forces. When thinking about your ranger's connection to an environment, consider its influence over your character. For example, if we flavor our swarm as a flock of pixies, our character could be tied to the Fey Wild. Our character could be sent from the Prime Material Plane on a mission from the Sealy Court, and they have gifted us some of their most trusted Fey to help us out. The other direction to utilize the connection theme is to consider your character's connection with their teammates. We can roleplay and leverage our swarm keeper's relationship with their swarm and use it to impact how our character builds connections with others. Think about the role your character will play in the party. Being in control of a network of nature spirits could lead your character stepping into the leadership role. You can reflect this by taking the inspiring leadership feat as well as utilizing the help action when a situation where another player needs a bit of direction or guidance. The swarm keeper could be more empathetic than the average person. Consider taking perception and the insight skill to convey your character being able to read body language and sense the mood of your party members. You can use these skills and roleplay as a group's parental figure, always willing to lend an ear when they need some comfort or guidance. To reflavor this subclass, let's consider what exactly our key feature does. It provides options while we attack either providing a damage buff or being able to move an enemy or ourselves. None of those are mechanically unique and the only feature in this subclass that has ties to nature or wildlife can be found on the expanded spell list. Even then, some of those spells can be reflavored or not taken. Instead, we can flavor our swarm as various sources of energy. Our swarm can actually be us summoning darkness from the Shadowfell. With every attack we make, we can empower our strikes with darkness or use our enemy's own shadow to move them. Taking the Shadow Touch feat can support this flavor change. Another source of power to consider is changing our swarm into a form of psionics. Just as I suggested with the Shadowfell flavoring, our attacks are instead empowered by psionic energy, allowing us to do much of the same. This psionic flavoring works out even better with the Writhing Tide feature, as the limited flight ability could be our character using their psionics to levitate. In order to support this, consider taking the telepathic or telekinetic feats. Now let's take a look at how we can play this subclass in the official 5th edition settings. In Forgotten Realms, we can be a beekeeper who has been sent on a mission by the local followers of Shantae to investigate why all the crops have begun to rapidly decay. In Eberron, we can be a green singer ranger who has built a relationship with a collection of fairies to protect the Eldine Reaches. In Ravnica, we can be a reclaimer for the Golgari Swarm who could control the roaches of the Undercity to help them as they search for lost treasures from Ravnica's past. And finally in Theros, we could be a hero who has made a deal with the Spider Queen Arasta to aid her in her quest for revenge against Fenax the God of Deception. The Swarm Keeper Ranger is easily one of my favorite subclasses from Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. It pairs evocative flavor with solid mechanics that aren't obscenely powerful nor weak. Gathered Swarm will mostly be used to provide a damage boost like other third level features found in other Ranger subclasses. What sets this feature apart is that it provides additional options that give the Ranger a bit of battlefield control. I feel the only thing missing from this subclass is that it could have had some companion mechanics. A lack of a pet companion doesn't take away from this subclass and can easily be fixed by obtaining the Find Familiar or Summon Beast spells. The subclass's flavor doesn't tie down a character's identity like the Fey Wanderer Ranger, giving the player freedom to flavor their swarm as they see fit for the campaign. With that said, I want to hear from you. What do you think of the Swarm Keeper Ranger? Let me know down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, I drop a video every week, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're looking to play a ranger powered by Fey Magic, check out my video on the Fey Wanderer Ranger. You can click on the video on the screen to see the new feature the subclass can bring to your table and how you can fit it into the official 5th edition settings. 
All right, I'm out of here. Have a good one.